So are you saying that with Christianity comes peace? Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, what about the, Crusades? the question was, what about the Crusades? and if you interrupt the answer, you'll find that you don't get to ask another question. The question was, right. am I saying that with Christianity comes peace? No, okay. I'm not. Okay, okay. I'm saying with Christ okay. comes peace. But then the question was, okay. what about the Crusades? Yeah. So let me answer that directly. Answer it. The Crusades were launched after seven centuries of constant Islamic aggression. Yeah, Before the very first Crusade was launched in 1095, yeah. Muslims had invaded the following Christian lands. They had invaded Christian Syria, Christian Jordan, Christian Palestine, Christian Egypt, Christian Algeria, Christian Libya, Christian Morocco, Christian Portugal, Christian Spain, Christian France, Christian Sicily, Christian Turkey, Christian Armenia, Christian Italy, all before the First Crusade. The Crusades are a legitimate response to Islamic aggression and Islamic violence. I don't need to hear any lectures about the Crusades from people who support Islamic colonialism, Islamic imperialism, Islamic dominion and Arabization. Any other questions about any aspect of Christian history, Christian belief, Christian values, traditions? This is your opportunity. Any questions? Go on. Go on. So you spoke about the Crusades. Yep. Uh, is it the same situation with the slave trade? Because they use uh, Christianity to convert uh, Africans and then bring them along in ships to the Americas. So okay. What did Islam have to do with that? So uh, he asked the question, the question, what does Islam have to do with the slave trade? Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to address your full question. I'm going to address your full question. Let's be clear. Before the European slave trade of the 1600s, 1700s and 1800s that happened in West Africa, the Islamic slave trade had existed in the Muslim world for nearly 14 centuries prior for nearly ladies and gentlemen for nearly 11 centuries muslims had taken slaves across africa across europe and had taken them into the muslim world and all through the time that europeans practiced slavery for the full 300 years of the European slave trade, Muslims continued to practice their own slave trade. They continued to kidnap people from Europe. They continued to kidnap people from Indonesia, people from India, people from Afghanistan, people from Africa, and take them into the Islamic slave markets to trade them as slaves. They did this because Muhammad was a slave trader who bought slaves and sold slaves. Christians, however, have ended the slave trade multiple times at different parts of history at different geographies around the world for the last 2,000 years. The most recent example was when William Wilberforce and the anti-slave traders convinced the British Empire using Christian arguments to end the British slave trade. The British Royal Navy then sacrificed blood and resources to end the slave trade 
around the world, including inside the Islamic world. Ladies and gentlemen, now notice the Muslim that asked the question didn't even bother to listen to the answer because that's how they do it. They're not interested in what you've got to say. All that they want to do is try and make a polemical point and then they're not interested in anything you have to say afterwards because they don't like the truth. Why did Christians try to abolish the slave trade? Because our example is Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ in a time when slavery was normal never had a slave, never bought a slave and never sold a slave.